Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Wild Orchid Crafts video on behalf of the Wild Bunch. I'm so excited to be back again and catch up on some of the videos that I have not had a chance to do. And I'm really excited to share this one with you today. Uh, so I'm not going to waste any time and bring, bring that one right on and show that to you. Um, uh, what I have created is this beautiful pillow. Um, and this is for Wild Orchid Crafts. I'd just like to explain to you, this is very detailed. It took me quite some time to do. It's, um, the pillow is probably about 8 or 9 inches by about 8 or 9 inches in a almost rectangular square, kind of. And the pillow is actually hand-sewn. Uh, the fabric background is muslin. And uh, this was going to be a totally different uh, pillow for something totally, something completely different than it is now that it turned out to be. Um, I stuffed it with the pillow stuffing, and then, um, sorry about that, and then I was saying to myself, okay, I want to do something else instead of what I was going to do. So what I had done was I had this picture of Marie Antoinette, and since I now have my new computer and my new printer, I'm able to go ahead and do things that I haven't been able to do for quite some time. So um, what I what I was going for was uh, printing out this uh, Marie Antoinette picture, which the background is dark and there's the skin color and a little bit of the purple and lavender in there and, and in her bow. And I thought I'd stick with that uh, color and still try to be in the neutral background, uh, the, the neutral colors like the, the browns, which is in this lace, which is uh, two inches wide. But getting back to that, I printed out this picture of Marie Antoinette on the uh, cream colored canvas that's the sticky back by uh, Caroline Helmuth, I think it's called, what is her name, uh, Claudine Helmuth. Uh, this is not the white one, it's the actual cream one, and I've used this before in the past, but I haven't really played around with crafty stuff like this for a while. So I printed it out, loved the way it came out, cut it out, stuck it down right onto the uh, to the muslin material, waited a while. I did have to use some of the Fabri-Tac glue on the edges just to glue down to make sure that it was sticking well. And uh, on top of that I used this really narrow uh, lace. I'm, I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, there you go. Very, very pretty, very dainty. Um, I just I just love that lace. I bought quite a bit of it not long ago. And um, I uh, adhered that lace with hot glue. I wasn't going to use any glue um, on this project, but at some point in time, I really needed to. Everything else is hand-sewn. Um, the This lace, which is kind of like a, not chocolate, but kind of like a taupey brown uh, with flowers and other dots and things like that in the background, is about two inches, every bit of it, or a little bit more. And as you can see, it's very ruffled. And I gathered all of that together on my own, separately, and then I sewed that onto the pillow. Very pretty. I was going to just leave that just the way that it was. And if you could see right over here, um, you could see the gathering that was done. Um, I, I wanted to cover that with some trim, but then thought I, I would get like too bulky, too gaudy looking, and I didn't really want to do anything like that. So... Um, once that was all put together, I knew that I wanted to make this one of my design team projects for the month. This entire pillow in its width has to be at least 12 inches by 12 inches, every bit of it um, uh, with the lace uh, attached to the pillow and all. And as you can see, I've really favored the trellis roses here from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used the larger trellis rose and the one next to it in its size and a very small one that's the same color. Um, I have broken up the trellis roses that was in a cream color and created my uh, own small bud rose out of what was left over. And uh, I think these are the, I don't know what the, these names of this rose is, but I will uh, have that in the drop down box below for you to go ahead and go online and get some of those for yourself. Um, they're very beautiful. Um, and that's what I had stuck with this time around. I didn't want to get um, too crazy with the uh, going overboard on the flowers because it's a very, very elegant, elegant um, pillow. I have it standing against um, one of these 
cast iron easels so that you can see, but I'm just going to like show you the side of it. And even the back is very neatly done. And you can see that it was hand sewn on the back. I may put some trim there, but I think I'm just going to leave it alone. And what I have here is some seam binding from Wild Oka Crafts. I put a little bow there, and this is actually going to be hung up. I'm not using a tripod, so it's kind of hard for me to go ahead um, and use one hand and, and then on the other have this holding on to this. It's very, very pretty and elegant. And it's really, I mean, I hand sewed this, but for those of you who don't sew, you can certainly uh, make a pillow like this for yourself with someone else. Um, and, uh, and, and you use the fabric tack. Uh, the pillow is about eight by eight inches, uh, sewn together and stuffed with the, um, the pillow stuffing that you can get in any fabric store. I'm not sure if Michaels carries it, but I'm sure that AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, like that, Joann's, they have it. Um, and a big bag is about five dollars, and I had gotten mine at the local fabric store. I just love the way the printout came out of the Marie Antoinette. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I hope that we are in picture and clear. But it came out so nice on the uh, the sticky back canvas. I definitely uh, want to try and uh, uh, use another photo that I have in mind for a certain project that I'm working on. Um, and you'll enjoy seeing that as well. Uh, but, you know, if, if you do have some of these trellis roses, give them a try on something else, something different. These were really fun to work with. And, and as I mentioned, uh, you can certainly take apart some of the um, wild orchid craft flowers like I had done there on, on the white ones. I'm trying to see if I can get in there for you to have a little bit of a look at that. Uh, and see how I recreated uh, the trellis rose into a bud rose. Now, I really want to put together a quick tutorial to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. I just didn't have the time, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, to do a tutorial. Uh, this is a project that I was working on, um, actually, for my new scrapbooking room. It's going to be a wall-hanging pillow. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of um, spray out there that I can get to spray onto this fabric and the lace and the and the um and the flowers to uh refrain the dust from I mean I'm not saying my house is dusty but everybody no matter how clean you are has some kind of dust. I just I didn't want it to get uh dusty to the point where I would have to like, you know, throw it out or disfigure it trying to clean it. But that's basically it. Very easy. And I, I took the straight ruffled lace and I ruffled it myself doing a running stitch with a needle and thread. And again, uh, just to quickly show you the back. Um, as you can see, it's it's very, very ruffly. It's very full. And just showing you how you can see all the stitches. This is very nicely cushioned. Um, I was going to use this as a very plain throw pillow to go on my bed. Uh, like I need more of them. I have a whole ensemble of everything that matches on my bed with like eight pillows. And I don't know what I was thinking about putting this little tiny pillow in there. But right now it's about 12 by 12 in size. And this is definitely going to be hanging up in my craft room. I did put a couple of these stray pearls here that are kind of almost like a, a matted matte pearl. Um, and those pearls you can certainly get at Michael's. Uh, this is the name of them. They are the uh, Cristazzi Pearls. Uh, they are 6 millimeter, and you get 190 pearls in a package. They are not sewn. They're loose on a like fishing wire string, and they're really nice to work with. I don't use these pearls all the time because they are pricey, so I do try to get them when they're on sale. Um, otherwise, all of the flowers and seam binding used in this video you can get at www.wildorchocrafts.com. This is Susie signing off as one of the design team members. And don't forget to check out on YouTube, Wild Oak Crafts, as well as uh, Facebook, Wild Oak Crafts, so you can see all of the other items that are created by the beautiful designers that we have at Wild Oak Crafts. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today, and I'll see you again soon.